see uh, last session may uh, we discuss about uh, basics of subnetting so let me just explain about first subnetting why we use subnetting and what is exactly the subnetting so guys after completing ipv4 addressing structure and everything about basic we have to move on subnetting part so subnetting is a method subnetting is a method which allow to divide or split large ip subnets into many small subnets all right subnetting is a method which is uh, which is used to divide or split large ip subnet into many small subnet let's say you are working in an organization and having the name of organization is abc and you have five departments first is a that belongs to sales b that is related to marketing and c that is related to account hr which is d it that is e so how we can apply subnetting subnetting will allow to divide ip subnets large ip network or large ip network into many small subnets so let's say uh, you are working as a network engineer and you got the ip range which is 192.168 100.0 now your task is to divide this ip subnet into many small subnets means you just have to break it into small small departments or small small subnets so as per your organization need you can divide it so subnetting will basically to divide ip networks into many small parts so once you divide uh, based on ip like you divide your sales sales department you divide your marketing department you divide your it department you divide your hr so it look like uh, there is logical boundary means sales cannot communicate with account account cannot communicate with with sales so these these networks become like separate broadcast domain means we just divide into small pieces in form of small pieces it look like so that's why we called it like subnetting is a method which allow to divide ip subnets into many small subnets or you can say it is a way to split a large ip subnet into small subnets so here we are just trying to divide based on ip so the very first method is to create subnet so that we have to understand subnet creation subnet creation method we have to understand like how we do how we do create subnets how we do create subnet and after subnetting once you done subnetting so inter department communication won't be possible because sales become separate broadcast and marketing become separate and hr account is also become separate so it is also important like uh, you should know the ex exact requirement like how many subnets you required so let's say in my case i'm going to assume that here we required only five subnets and we have to split into five small subnets and we have ip address that is 192.168.100.0 all right this very first part of subnetting which we have to understand chale aage yahan tak so guys let's say uh, uh, you have ip address this 192.168.100.0/24 that's your ip subnet 
and you have to divide into five subnets. So the very first step, I'm going to explain it step by step. So I'm, I'm starting with my step number first. So my step number first is to identify class. So the given IP look like this 192.168.100.0 slash 24. All right. My IP is 192.100.0 slash 24. See, uh, I haven't explained about this slash value. So just do not write this. I'll let you know later what is the meaning of this CIDR or slash notation. So uh, now we have IP address, which is 192.168.100.0. If you do check this, so you easily identify the class. It belongs to class C and the default subnet mask by default subnet mask of this class is by default subnet mask is Two five five dot two five five dot two five five dot zero. That's my default submit mask. And guys, here what, what is exact requirement? Like how many subnets we have to create here? So in my case, we have to create five subnets. So here we just have to uh, we just have to make sure what exactly the requirement we have to fulfill. Accordingly, we have to put one formula that is two raised power n is greater than or equal to number of required subnet. So guys, what is exactly the requirement? So we just have to fulfill this. We just have to fulfill the value for n. So how many, how, how many, how many, how many width should I use to fulfill the requirement of five subnet? So let's say what, or you can say what value should I choose to complete my requirement for five subnets? All right. So let's say I'm just going to use the value, which is two is power zero. That is one to his power one. That is two. So these values not filling my requirements. Like if I do put zero, so it's become one, but requirement is five. So we just have to match the value that should either satisfy or it is higher, higher than or greater than the required value. So if I do put again to this power two, so to this power two, so it's become four, but that is also not satisfying my requirement. So I just have to choose another value, which is to this power three. So it, it become eight guys after two raised power two, every value will satisfy this requirement. So there's question like what value we should use. So we just have to choose the nearest possible value. So the nearest possible value is to this part three. So I just have to put here three number of required subnet. So this is very small calculation, which I've done here. Now in first step, we get the value for n. Now here we get the value for n, which is three. Now we just have to create another subnet mask or new subnet mask based on required, uh, based on the value which I have calculated. So the default subnet mask look like this, 255.255.255.0. So guys, if I ask one question, 255 means on bits. So you just have to consider one thing, whatever the value we get here for N that you just have to raise here in your new subnet mass. That's my default. I'm going to do create another new subnet mask, which is based on uh, my requirement, which I've, which I actually I've get based on calculation. So I'm going to do right like this 255 dot two five five dot two five five and I just have to make sure it should be three only. So I'm going to do uh, changes bits from zero to one in fourth octet. Guys, I cannot use first three octets because there's already one one. 
So where should I change? I should change here in fourth octet. So I'm going to do change from zero to one, 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 one. And after then rest bit should be zero. Now see my subnet must look like this 255.255.255. And first three bits value, we just have to calculate here. I've already explained about this. So first bit value is 128. Next bit value is 64 and then 32. So once you add all these three values, so you get 224. So now new subnet must look like this 255.255.255.224. That's my new subnet mask. So till we just calculate a new subnet mask. So this is my new subnet mask or NSM. New subnet mask, which is based on host require, which is based on network requirement. Guys, does it make sense like what I have done in first step? I just have to uh, calculate this new subnet mask based on requirement. All right. Yes. After new subnet mask calculation, you just have to move uh, here in the step number two. You can solve your question in two step. First I have done, next you have to start. So whatever the subnet mask you get, whatever the new subnet mask you get, you just have to write like that 255.255.255.224. And now it's time to calculate block size. So block size should be, uh, block size calculation required a formula which is 256. That's we also call magic number minus effective octet value. So guys, where I've performed changes in fourth octet or which one is my effective octet? The last, the fourth one. So I have to just minus 256 minus 224. And now we get the value, which is 32. Now we've done the question. Like now it's time to calculate the subnet. See why we, why I do calculate block size. So whatever I've done here, that is all to calculate block size. The second step I have started with block size calculation. So block size, basically what is block size? So I'm going to do right here about block size. Block size defined sub network interval. Like we are trying to split our network into small subnets. So we just have Block size says like what block size define the sub network interval range simply you can say sub network interval range or whatever the small networks we do use. So what will be the range for that small networks? So here we get, let's say block size 32. So the first network should have zero to 32. That is for my, let's say sales. Means zero to 32 block will belongs to sales. Similarly, the next block I can do calculate 32 plus 60, 32, which is 64 means you just have to add on 32, 32. So block size will define like what will be the intervals for your small networks or sub networks. So once you calculate block size, now it's time to calculate IP. So the very first IP should be the IP which is given to the administrator. So it is 100.0. That's my NID for sales. This is the network ID for sales department. Now the, it's time to calculate the first IP. That is 
it's my first ip or first usable ip first valid host next ip is 100.2 100.3 100.4 and similarly 100.30 is the last valid host and broadcast ip is 100.31 for sales so this is ip calculation for sales so sales department get only 30 valid ips first is network id and 30 one is the broadcast and similarly i can do start calculation for i3 department so 192.168 it's my nid or network id 33 is first valid host 34 35 similarly it is till 62 62 is the last 63 is the broadcast similarly for remaining departments i can do calculate Remain, remaining department means we have to calculate five subnets so first subnet i have done second subnet i have done third subnet you can do start with 64 plus 32 that is 96 so the next subnet will be this and again four subnets should be 96 plus 32 that's my fourth similarly you can do start the calculation for fourth and fifth also and 128 plus 32 that is 160 that's my fifth subnet so all subnet i've shown you here and it's look very easy you can do cal calculate on the basis of that only guys does it make sense like how i'm doing it yes sir yes so now calculation become easy okay so this is how we do create subnets or subnetting look like after subnetting sales ips cannot cannot communicate with IT and IT cannot communicate with HR or other departments. So this is the exact way to perform your subnetting. How can we divide the network based on the host requirement? Yeah, that's next type of subnetting. Here we are not concentrated. Uh, here we are not concentrating on host. Here we are just focusing to create subnet. All right. So guys, we have to do one question, which I'm giving to you. Let's say you have another IP, which is 100.200.200.10.0. And we have to create 10 subnets. So how question asked by interviewer or in examination Let's you have to create 10 subnets and my question is what will be the last What will be the last valid host for second subnet, let's say. So you just guys have to calculate it. See the very same kind of question you get in examination also. Dot, 
Okay, just uh, mention your answer in chat. So once rest guys completed, so we just do calculate it. Does it correct or not? Then we can do identify. गया आपका थर्टी एक सेकेंड प्रवीण हैव यू डन इट या सर या बस टाइम टाइपिंग सो सी यू गाइस कैन मैच द आंसर सो सी इन दिस केस हाउ वी डू हैव टू सॉल्व इट फर्स्ट वी हैव टू मेक शुर लाइक uh we we know exact subnet requirement so here exact sub, subnet requirement is 10 so we just have to start with this calculation to this power n greater than number of required subnet okay so what value we do we should use here to this power 3 or to this power 4 so we just have to use to this power 4 Two power uh, four. Oh. So n is equal to four. We get here, and we just have to use that in new subnet mask. Default look like this. And four bits we have to. Raise here, mm -hmm. and now my new subnet must look like this. So first bit value is one twenty eight, sixty four, thirty two, sixteen. So when you do add all these things, so you get the value which is two five five dot two five five. Dot two five five dot two hundred forty, correct. Block size is sixteen. In this case, and first, I was for the second subnet. So first subnet will be zero to sixteen. First IP will be two hundred dot hundred dot zero. That's my NID. Hundred dot one block should be like this. Ten dot fourteen, ten dot fifteen will be broadcast IP. And next, start with two hundred dot two hundred dot ten dot sixteen. First seventeen, last value dose will be thirty. Broadcast IP thirty one. All right. Okay. So the same way you have to do. I think everyone already done. Yes, sir. Uh, guys, you just have to understand one table. So this these calculation become way easy. Bits, value, and block size.
if there is value for n is 1 then value is always 128 block size how we do calculate 256 minus 128 so it is also 128 if value is 2 so first two value first two bit value is first is 122 64 when we do add we get the value which is 192 so first two bit value is 192 when we do minus so we get the block size 64 then first three bits value which is 224 and 256 minus 224 which is 32 here similarly 16 8 4 2 and 1 these are the possible block size and value will be 240 in case of 4 bits 248 in case of 5 bits 252 in case of 6 bit 254 in case of 7 bits All right, yes, sir. This, this table you guys understand? Yes, sir. Yes. If you remember this table, so it's become very easy for you guys. For finding out the subnet mask, correct, sir? Easy. Subnet mask, block size, sari cheese up kill asano jangi. in case of class C all question will always be same Hamesa kya rahega? Aapka same hi rahega. in case of class C agar aap subnet create karoge to same hi rahega. you guys have to just do one last question when we have to move on class B type of submitting it is also known as FLSM abhi jo hum kar rahe hain usko kya bolte hain FLSM fixed length subnet mask Why we called it fixed length subnet mask? Because in case of like, uh, in case of subnetting, for each department, we are getting same subnet mask. And I've already uh, told you like subnet mask is the key, which is to control host and users, host and number of networks. So here, if you do check, FLSM will says fixed length subnet mask will says for each department you should have to use the same subnet mask subnet mask is not getting change in any question whatever we do in case of subnet creation always in case of subnet creation it, it is flsm or subnet creation task is is equal to subnet subnet creation task is Totally FLSM fixed length subnet mask because here we are not changing mask length based on subnets or based on requirement. It is fixed for each subnet. Means number of user will be remain same for every department. All right. Sabke liye same hi rahega na. Ab jab ye subnet mask nikaloge, ab off bits kitni bachi. You have to pass on bits and a sari 255. So, off bits, off bits, kya batati aapko? Users, to aapke pass yaan par number of users kya rahenge? Sub me, same. So, that's why we called it fixed length subnet mask. 
so you guys have to do one last question about class c then we move into the next 199.10.20.0 and you have to create 17 subnet let's say and you have to define third subnet broadcast ip Okay. Guys, have you done it? Yeah, yes, sir. Yes. It's, uh, so in case of 17 million. subnet, you just have to use to his power five. Only yeah. like to his power four is 16 to his power five, 32. So it means we just have to use five bits. So subnet must look like this 255.255.248. Block size is eight. So I, I've asked for the third subnet. So it is. 0 to 8 first subnet, 8 to 16 mm. second and 16 to 24, that's for third. Broadcast IP will be 23. Yeah. Christopher, have you done it? Yes, yes. Yeah, yes, sir. Already working in the chat also. Okay, good. So guys, let's, uh, let's talk about class B. If there is class B. One second.
ब्रो डिस्कनेक्ट कर दो हां डिस्कनेक्ट आएं दो रेंडो संभव नो ओनोरा कैरी आलो हां ओनोरा कैरी आलो 